Hey guys, welcome back to another WordPress backend administration video. Uh, we're going to show you really quickly how to manipulate, how to add, how to insert, how to reposition, and how to remove, um, and how to temporarily remove a widget while keeping its settings. So this video is all about widget manipulation. Okay. So first we're going to start in the dashboard and on the left menu we're going to go to appearance and widgets will be the option about the third down. So go ahead and click on that. And we'll go ahead and open an incognito window so we can see Copy link address. Okay. So we can see the the website we're working with. Make sure it looks the way we want it to. Okay. So what we're looking at as far as the widgets is doing stuff in the sidebar. Alright, so you can see what the sidebar looks like now. You always want to make sure you know what it looks like first before you go doing any modifications so you can tell what changed for sure. All right, so let's use a simple, let's see, a custom HTML. The custom HTML is pretty cool, so I'll put it right here above the search bar so that it's easy to see. And I'll just say, hi, this is a test. Okay. So the question is, if we're using custom HTML, can I just use plain text? Let's see. So we'll do save. It says saved. We'll go over here. Here's the search bar. We'll be looking for it to be pushed down and something to be right here. So F5 to refresh. Bada bing, bada boom. Kind of hard to see, but because it's dark on dark, but there it is. Hi, this is a test. Just like we had wanted. Okay. Now, if you know HTML, can you do other things to it? Well, yes, you can. For instance, you can set it as an H1. Watch out for the automatic tag completion. H1. So now I've got it in a h1 tag we'll go ahead and do save and go back refresh now bada bing it's big as an h1 and it's the color that h1 is set as okay can i do css in here well let's see let me make a style tag We'll say H1, and let's say color white. Okay, let's do save. Whoop. Cancel. Okay. Save. Come over here, refresh, and we'll see if it worked. It sure did. So. That shows you that with the custom HTML, you can do either plain text or you can do styled HTML. Can I put an image in there? Well, let's see. Image source equals. And I'll just take an image source I have from, a, from another project. And we'll click save. Sure enough, so I can make images appear there if I want to. All right. So that is a good demonstration. Now, 
let's say I want to move that whole custom HTML further down the line. So I'm looking at recent posts and I want my image to be between recent posts and recent comments. So it'll be right above recent comments right here. So what I'll do is I'll come over and I'll grab the custom HTML that I made. And you see how as I move it, it just kind of pushes the other ones out of the way. Boom. I let go and it snaps into place. You see that? All right. You don't have to do save or nothing. It autom The widgets panel automatically saves. The only place it doesn't automatically save is when you when you drop down and configure an individual widget. When you configure an individual widget like this right here, you have to click save. But as far as moving things and positioning things in this widgets panel, which is where we're at right now, that automatically saves. So once you've moved it where you want it, you come back over and refresh. Bada bing, there's our custom HTML, our header in white, and there's our image. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna show you, I, uh, second to last thing, here's one thing a lot of people don't know. There's a special place down here called inactive widgets. Okay, so what's that mean? Well, if I deleted this custom HTML, I would have to build it all again from scratch. Well, if it's really detailed, like this is kind of detailed and it might take a little effort, but not a lot. But let's say I had something with a lot of detail. To build that from scratch would take a lot of time. So, and probably frustration also, and you might not even remember exactly how you did it. So instead, what WordPress offers is the ability to make a widget inactive. That way it'll store all of its uh, special custom configuration settings that you've put in there. And, and then you should be able to pull it back in when you want to use it again. So let's see how that works. We'll go ahead and drag, and then you just hold the mouse down as you continue to drag. And depending on how many widgets you have available, it might take a while to get down there. So just keep dragging and dragging and then drag it into the inactive widget section until you see that little dotted box. Then let go of the mouse when you see the dotted box. And we'll go back up. You notice it's no longer in the widgets panel here in the sidebar. So we'll come back over. We'll refresh it. And you notice it's gone. Bada bing, bada boom. No more. Double check it. Yep, it's gone. Okay. But let's say I changed my mind. I want to put it back. Well, I can actually come down here and I can do some modifications. And I can say this is a way cool test. All right. And then I can save that modification. Will it show up over here? What do you think? Well, it's F5 to refresh. And nope, not at all. It did not show up. Why not? Because it's not supposed to. That's the beauty of the inactive widget section is you can put a widget there and you can work on its configuration and then move it back when you have it the way you want it without uh, without having that widget show up until you're ready on a live site. So let's say we're ready now. What do we do? Let's go ahead and close it up with that arrow. Make sure we've saved it. And see if you hover over it and you can't click the save button, then it's already been saved. So we'll do that. Now we're gonna grab it, pull it over. So we're gonna click and drag and again, it could take a long time, just keep scrolling your mouse up. Sometimes moving it back and forth helps. And let's go ahead and move it under recent comments right before advertisers. And then we'll go back to our website, F5 to refresh, bada bing, bada boom. Now you see it's back and it has the new text that we put in there. 
We can put new images in there. Anything you can do with HTML or text, we can do with this widget. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is, well, let's say that we absolutely just don't want that anymore. So what we're going to do is we'll go custom HTML, look at it, and make sure that it's exactly what we're looking for. We'll, uh, we don't need to grab it and drag it anywhere. If we're totally done with it and we don't want it there at all, we just click delete. Now it's gone. It's not down here. If we want it again, we have to build it from scratch. No way to save it. Uh, recent posts, recent comments. So we come back over here. Refresh. Totally gone. Okay. Um, the one thing I would ask you guys is if somebody out there does know of a good way to, aside from just saving in a text file or something, you know, know if there's a, a plugin that will allow you to save a series of um, widgets, the code from widgets that you make so that you can reuse those later uh, and have them maybe closer to the sidebar uh, widget panel. I'd love to hear about that in the comments um, because as far as I know, I'm not aware of anything. You just have to save it in a, a text file and copy and paste when you want to use it again. All right. Well, this has been another quick video on backend WordPress uh, management. We've showed you about how to work with widgets. Very basic video, but it should get you started. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.